Today I am here to talk about the step up cooperation exercises. Now you're probably like, we already know stepping up. Okay, maybe you did, but this is the cooperation exercises. What is that? Oh, okay. Nick says, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now before you forget. Hey everyone, welcome to Parenting Parrots. I'm Mixie Casanova and today we're going to be talking about the step up practice. Now, I just want to make clear I'm not teaching you how to teach your parrot to step up. In this video, you're going to see footage of all my parrots doing the different cooperation exercises. Some of them will do them all, like my African Grey who has been taught them all. And some of them will refuse certain perches, some will refuse my hands, um, and some will refuse me altogether. And I think that's great footage for me to have because therefore that shows you guys who needs work and we can move from them not knowing how to do it to doing it. And you guys can all see it from the beginning to the end. So you can definitely do it with your parrot also. So first and foremost, before I get into the video, I want to go over what your parrot should know before starting this, which they should know how to, what a clicker or a verbal command means. If you don't know, how to do that, please check out how to clicker train my video. Also, then going from there, they should know how to target train, which I say target train because I actually use target training to help some parents learn how to step up if they need it. So it's a good tool. If they already know how to do it, then you can definitely use it to assist you in the step up process. Now, before you decide to teach your parents to step up, there has to be mutual respect between you and your parent. Meaning, if your parrot tells you no, you need to listen and understand that your parrot's telling you no. If you go ahead and are ignoring your parrot, then you're not going to have a good relationship because your parrot's going to start looking at you either as a piece of property that it owns or as an enemy or something of that sort, which means biting is going to be involved, and that's what we're trying to avoid. So, mutual respect, very important. Listen to your parrot. If your parrot sees you as a flock mate, then you are in good. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do, there's five things, five or six things that you need to include when teaching your parrot to step up. One, you wanna teach your parrot to step up in an unfamiliar spot. So I do have a video out there which is Perrain, our newest Indian ringneck, where I'm doing step up in her cage. I do that because I like my parents to step up from inside their cage. If that's not something that's important for you, then don't worry about it. But if it is, then definitely check out that video. It's uh, just showing you how I do it with her. I'm not teaching stepping up. I'm just showing you what it could look like. Now, if you can do that, that's great. If not, that's fine. Let your parrot come out of the cage and then remove them from the cage and put them to the area where you're going to train. You want to train them in an unfamiliar spot so therefore they're not flying back to their cage or anything like that or looking at their cage for, you know, rescue or anything like that. So I like to train them either in my washroom, my hallway, or my storage room. In this video, I'm training them in my hallway. So first, I want to show you guys Grayson. And this is how it looks when they know how to do the step up cooperation. As you see, Grayson stepped up to everything. There was no issues and he was wonderful. And that's what, it, that's what it's supposed to look like when your parent knows what to do. Now, not all my parents were trained like Grayson because I kind of slacked on that, which is good for you guys. So you guys can actually see the footage of getting them from not being trained to being trained. But um, Grayson was the best example to show you what it's supposed to look like. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you put them in an unfamiliar spot. In this video, I'm using my hallway. I'm using an unfamiliar perch stand, which they never use. So I put them on that. And they need to be able to step up to, fr to and from that area to my hand, which you'll see here. Some refuse. If they refuse, I have to move on to something else. Some will step up to my right hand, but they won't step up to my left hand. After you've went through that, you want to move on. You want to make sure that each step is established before moving on to another step. 
once that one's established, you want to move on to them stepping up to a handheld perch. So you'll see them step to and from the handheld perch. Once that's established, next you want to teach them to step to and from your hands. So from your right hand to your left hand, from your left hand to your right hand. As you can see, some don't know my left hand because I'm not consistent with it. So I need to definitely become more consistent with using my left hand so they'll refuse it. And then next, you want them to be able to step up from a handheld perch to a handheld perch. As you can see, a lot of them are refusing to step up to that second handheld perch, which it looks different compared to all the wooden dowels. Wooden dowels, it's easy for me to train with because it's just a smooth dowel. I can simply say step up, take them off, and I don't have to worry about grooves or anything like that or them stepping into another spot on the perch that's not safe, like not secure for me to hold or something like that. So I use the wooden dowel, so they're all familiar with that. But as you can see, this other perch, they're not familiar with. So some of them will refuse. And then next you want them to be able to step up to and from like the handheld perch to your hand, from your hand to the perch, from your hand, from your handheld perch back to your hand, etc. However you do that, it doesn't matter as long as it's going from a per from your handheld to your hand and back and forth.
once your parent knows all those things, you've done it. You've successfully taught your parent the step up cooperations, which means you have less chance of your parent biting you in the future because you now have a common ground. The step up practices is really good because it is something that's predictable. Your parent, your parent knows exactly what you're expecting and you know exactly what you're expecting. So therefore you both are on the same ground. So guys, I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my parents. I will be coming back with another video next week. So please don't forget to subscribe. Also, please comment down below if you teach your parent to step up onto something else that I haven't mentioned, then that would be great to let me know. Or let me know how it goes trying to teach your parent to step up onto these items if you haven't done so already. That would be great. I like to read comments, so please do leave some. Press that like button and subscribe. <laughs> okay, remember that parenting parents is not about being a parent owner or a pet owner. It's about being a parent to a toddler in parent form. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Ciao.